Ukrainian forces knew what they wanted and they came in force. Their assault on Mariupol's police station sustained. Ukraine says it's a legitimate military action to evict pro-Russian militias out of buildings they've occupied. And many here say it's nothing more than the action of a fascist regime supported by the West. Rocket-propelled grenades fired in city centre streets, shooting where yesterday people were shopping. They've recaptured the police station all right, but in saving it, they destroyed it. This is quite a statement. The Ukrainian forces have now left, leaving this behind them. The point they're making, Mariupol is one town they are not going to surrender without a fight. bloody aftermath of a strike on the separatist headquarters in the heart of Luhansk. Five women killed, three men, officials say. Some people were saying there was, kind of, there was an airstrike in Luhansk, that there was some bomb drop on the administrative headquarters of the separatists. <coughs> Is it true? No. The Ukrainians claim that this had nothing to do with a military aircraft which was circling overhead at the time of the attack. But from what we can tell, this looks like very heavy cannon fire from an aircraft strafing through this square. No bombing, uh, uh, either by, uh, from airplanes or artillery, were permitted by the, uh, the leaders of the Ministry of Defense. U.S. President Barack Obama has offered Kiev financial and security support during his first meeting with his newly elected Ukrainian counterpart. Should do it. Should do it. What we should, we should, we should do a Yes, you are one trooper. Go see my, see my fascist. Multiple rockets hit a residential area in western Donetsk called the Petrovsky district, killing seven people, including two children. Both insurgent and government forces deny that their attacks are killing civilians. But in four attacks against populated areas that Human Rights Watch investigated in Donetsk, the evidence strongly indicates that Ukrainian government forces were responsible. Стреляли самый центр южных кварталов, где самое большое скопление людей. Among the dead, a female guard at the Lugansk Southern District School killed by shrapnel. Армія, яка знає і вміє захищати народ і державу. 